hope, hope you're all having a wonderful day. day. I am Brent. And I'm Leah. In this episode, we are exploring Bohara. Right now, we are at the Purling Path. Then we will proceed to go to the Kaiseria Souk. And then after that, we will go to the Kalapia Library. Then we'll go to the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa house. And for our snacks, we will have shawarma. Enjoy, Enjoy watching! Purling Path The Purling Testimony of an Island Economy is the second cultural landmark in Bahrain inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Purling Path extends for about 3 kilometers, starting from the Purling Sites, known locally as Herat, near Bu Maher Fort which was built in 1840, to Siadi House in the heart of Moharak, which will serve as the main Purling Museum. The Purling Path is a living open-air museum, documenting a particular period in the kingdom's history when its economy was dependent largely on purling trades. In addition, the path also highlights the journey of the Bahraini pearl from seabed to international marketplaces. Moreover, the path also weaves stories about the people who were involved in the pearling trade, from the Tawash, that is, Grand Pearl Merchant, the diver, Nukida, Sib, that is, the person in charge of pulling divers up to the deck, and others, all while painting a picture of how life was once in Bahrain.
Al Kaiseria Market. This souk is one of the oldest parts of Muharraq's market and has historically featured shops selling everything from pearls to spices and teas. The oldest description of the market was provided by the English traveler William Belgrave, who visited the city of Al Hafuf in 1852. Also, the market was damaged due to a massive fire that broke out on Thursday, October 18, 2001. This fire destroyed 80% of the market. The traditional Arabs clothes, including men's cloaks embroidered with gold thread, types of gowns, and head covers, hijabs, are sold in this place. It includes traditional handicrafts and heritage collectibles, aromatic products and medicinal plants, kinds of grains, coffee, and all foods. Khalifiyah Library was one of the first public Arabic libraries in Bahrain. It houses a reading room, a research center, an internet lab, and office spaces, which are all open to the public. The cultural and public program will focus on the youth living in the heart of Muharraq. Ali Al Khalifa House is a heritage house in Muharraq worth to visit. Attractions to see are the wind tower, colored stained glass work, and the house plan. It has the main court, guest area, and servant quarters. La Maison Jamshir is a French Bahraini cultural center located in a well preserved traditional house behind Muharraq's Sheikh Hamad Mosque. The result of a collaboration between the Sheikh Ibrahim Center and the French Institute. La Maison Jamshir hosts a variety of French Bahraini lectures, art exhibitions, and cultural events. Shawarma is an Arab dish consisting of meat cut into thin slices, stacked in a cone-like shape, and roasted on a slowly turning vertical rotisserie or spit, originally made with lamb, mutton, or chicken. Today, shawarma may also be turkey, beef, or veal. Thin slices are shaved off the cooked surface as it continuously rotates. Let's eat!
We hope you like this video. If you do so, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell for further updates. See you on our next vlog. Bye! Bye.